Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's happening, guys? Good morning, everybody. You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a controversial news story. An L.A. spa uh, recently had a trans person, a uh, trans woman, in the woman's locker room, uh, allegedly was kind of, you know, waving her dick around, doing the helicopter. I'm being a little bit silly there, but uh, seems to have been being somewhat of an exhibitionist. Uh, a couple women in the spa got offended and went to the front desk, and uh, the the spa wound up uh, kind of siding with the trans woman, and I thought it brought up a, an interesting issue. You know, when we live in a society and we try to respect kind of all people's rights and let all people kind of live how they want to live, you know, sometimes it, it winds up with conflict and with some of these tough questions like whose rights are more important. You know, it, does this trans person have the right to be in the locker room of the sex of which they identify? Or does this woman and, and other women in the spa have the right not to see penises in the women's area of the spa? And it, it kind of got me thinking, you know, there's a lot of kind of tricky issues like this. I know like the emotional support animal thing is big right now, right? Like pretty much anybody can say that their pet is an emotional support animal. And now all of a sudden you can bring your pet into hotels that don't allow pets uh, in without paying a, an extra fee or a pet deposit. You can bring your, you, you know, you bring your dog or your cat on a flight with you. And, uh, you know, we're not talking service animals, true service animals that go through a lot of training and, and you know, people, you know, blind people need, diabetics need, uh, people with ep epilepsy need. We're not talking about service animals. We're talking about emotional support animals. Um, and, you know, in, in a situation like that, whose rights are more important, right? Like, does the person who, you know, quote unquote, needs an emotional support animal, do their rights outweigh the rights of another person sitting next to them on the plane who is allergic to dog or dogs or cats? We can't possibly, uh, you know, cater to both groups. So how do we decide which party's rights to respect over the others? Or even right now, <clears throat> with the whole COVID situation going on right now and vaccines, you know, what's more what's more important people having the right to decide what they put in their body um and to assess risk for themselves or is a societal good more important to where we should you know pressure or even force everybody to get vaccinated you know when we live in a society a lot of these tough issues come up and so in today's video i kind of wanted to play john quinones i don't know if you if you guys remember that tv show john quinones what would you do it was on like before or after 2020 on friday nights and uh, John Quinones would get like a seven-year-old actor to pretend he was trying to buy meth. I'm, I'm being a little bit silly here with uh, how ridiculous the story is. But, you know, John Quinones is going to get a seven-year-old to try to get people on the street to buy a meth. And this little seven-year-old goes up to people and he's like, hey, uh, my friends have been telling me about methamphetamine. Would you buy some for me? And, you know, he basically sees what people's reactions are. Will they try to help the seven-year-old buy meth or will they not? And then he confronts him at the end. Now, the meth example was stupid. It might be like buying liquor or, you know, we're going to have a guy who's clearly drunk try to get into a car with his kid and his wife and see if anybody stops him. We're going to have a guy aggressively hit on a woman at the bar and see if anybody steps in. Like, those are the kinds of things that he would do. Uh, but we're going to play John Quinones here. And I would like to hear from you guys. We're going to play the video of what happened at this spot in a moment. Uh, but I want to hear from you guys. If you were working at the front desk of this spa or even better yet, if you owned this spa, how would you handle this situation and who would you decide with? And while this is more of kind of a societal issue than a business issue, you know, these types of issues are business issues, right? Like as a business owner, you're going to have to make these tough decisions. Who are you going to side with? What is the repercussion or the fallout going to be? How do you decide, you know, how to weigh these two different people's rights? And I think maybe we'll also talk a little bit about kind of like wokeness and marketing and things like that at the end. Uh, but uh, I'm going to play this clip for you. And then I'd love to hear from you guys. Like, how, how would you handle this situation as a business owner? You don't. So it's OK. I just want to be clear with you. It's OK. It's OK for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. It's so he, so he can stay there. He can stay there? What sexual orientation? I see a dick. It lets me know he's a man. He, he is a man. He is a man. He is not no female. He is not a female. He is not a female. Hold on. He is not a female, sweetie. Okay. Girls down there, other women who are highly offended for what they just saw. And you did nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, 
you sided with him. So We Spa is an agreement with men that just say they are a woman and they can go down there with their penis and get into the women's section. Is that what you're saying? What, what, really? What law? What law? So women can go into the men's with their breasts. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't. Y'all wouldn't come back either. Yeah, get your money back. You got a man with his penis talking about he's a woman. He ain't no woman. Uh-uh. Yeah, give her her money back. There's no such thing as transgender. He has a dick. Okay? He has a penis. He has penis is hanging out. Okay, no, I'm not one. Actually, I'm a woman who knows how to stand up and speak up for my right. As a woman, I have a right to feel comfortable without a man exposing himself. Okay, no, you go somewhere else. Okay, so that's right. No, he's not a transgender. He has a penis, just like you do. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? No. Yeah. Okay, it's not okay. It's not okay. Okay, that's traumatizing to see that. I'm a woman. I think this is a place right here. I'm told only for women. So how dare you sit up here and tell me I don't have a right as a woman no, to defend? I'm telling you, he has a penis. You don't. Okay, so what is your guys' thoughts on this story? Is this woman being transphobic, or does she have a right to be offended? Now, should women be traumatized or offended by a penis? I guess that would be an issue for another discussion. But I do think one interesting thing to point out. The, the media and society kind of villainizes guys, right? We got the Me Too movement and toxic masculinity and guys are intimidating and guys are mean and guys are rude and everything else. And I believe it's actually a crime to send an unsolicited dick pic. So the legal system, the law, cities, states, municipalities have decided that seeing a penis that you don't want to see uh, is a crime, right? So uh, I think we should take that into consideration when, when kind of looking at this story. I don't really know California law. Uh, was this spa siding with the transgender person or are their hands really tied by the law? But uh, I'd love to hear your guys' answers to those questions. I'd also like to hear as a business owner, like how would you uh, treat this situation? Would you side with the women or try or side with the transgender person? Um, here's another thing, right? Now, anytime that there's some type of benefit for people when they can just decide to claim something, there are going to be people who abuse the system, right? Imagine if at Six Flags or, or Disney World or some amusement park, uh, we asked young kids how tall they were um, to ride a ride, right? You need to be four feet tall to ride this ride. Some five-year-old kid who's three foot five comes up and he's like, sir, I'm, I'm four feet tall. If we just take his word for it, you know, we're, we're not operating the ride in a safe manner. Um, and this kid has an incentive to lie because he wants to get on a ride. We had plenty of people uh, fraudulently steal PPP loans saying, you know, I'm a business owner and we didn't really verify that. How did the 2008 housing cr crisis start? Well, we, you know, we had these no doc, no verification loans. So even if you made $10 an hour, you could walk into a mortgage broker and be like, yeah, I make $200,000 a year. Okay, here's your house. And then the, uh, the housing market collapses. Or, you know, somebody like Elizabeth Warren, who claims to be Native American, even though she's not Native American. We got Kamala Harris claiming she's African American, even though she's Indian, uh, trying to kind of piggyback off the whole BLM thing. So when we just allow people to claim things without really any vetting system, uh, there is going to be some abuse. And so I guess that kind of leaves us wondering, what was it, you know, what was really behind this situation? Is this really a trans person who's just trying to enjoy the women's spa? Or is this a man who's kind of playing off the, who's kind of taking advantage of and bending the rules to hang out with a bunch of naked women in the locker room? And from the sounds of it, you know, this wasn't just a trans person who went into the locker room, was trying to, or I'm, not, I'm sorry, not the locker room, went into the sauna or the steam room and was trying to enjoy their time. It kind of sounds like they were being somewhat uh, voyeuristic. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys, how many of you guys go to the gym? I'm sure you guys have all experienced that weird guy in the gym who like walks around for a half hour naked. Like there's just really no reason for it. Like the guy's standing at the, you know, you, you go to take a pee in the, in the bathroom and a guy's standing at the urinal butt naked or, you know, some guy who's got his leg up on the bench swinging his softy at you, trying to strike up a conversation about a bench pressing or something. Like, dude, get some fucking pants on. Quit fucking talking to me, right? Like, I think we can all kind of tell the difference uh, when somebody's being a little bit pervy. And from the sounds of it, it sounds like this, uh, this person may have been being a little bit pervy. Apparently, there was another incident uh, back in 2018 
uh, where something similar happened. And this was a, a Google review from their site. And this one other thing I wanted to bring up. So this business actually wound up getting Google bombed. If you check out, I started to make this video last night. I made about a 20 minute long video and the audio screwed up. Uh, I'm making this one on my phone, so I'm not going to hop between screens. But if you if you type in We Spa Los Angeles and look at their Google My Business page uh, and then sort reviews by newest, they, they've just absolutely gotten destroyed in their reviews. Now, Google doesn't allow Google bombing, so ultimately these reviews will wind up being removed. Uh, but here's a review from 2018. Upon checking in, the clerk advised us that there was a transgender male in the women's locker room. Okay, no problem. I'm not the type to discriminate, but once in a women's area... I saw the mentioned quote unquote transgender individual uh, naked in all his glory. He still had a male organ hanging there. Okay, no fuzz. That surgery is expensive anyways, so I go on my routine to get to the shower. He was almost next to me showering too when I started overhearing a conversation that he is having with a lady that was also in the shower area. I clearly heard him say that he has had sex probably with 100 women and that he was looking for a female girlfriend to share his time with. He also mentioned that he uses cocaine and LSD to relax. Okay, not my business what he uses to relax, but hey, a transgender person does not act like a guy around women, nor do they state how much they like women and that they like having sex with them. Uh, no, here's uh, right. So tra a, a transgender person can still be attracted and date and, and get together with women, right? If you look at the, uh, what's the, Cal what's a Kardashian's dad? Uh, Jenner, uh, what's her name? No, Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, I believe even though Caitlyn Jenner, Jenner is transgender, she, you know, she doesn't get with men, she gets with women. So just because you're someone's transgender doesn't mean they have to like one gender. But the, this, just their, their behavior as a whole does seem kind of pervy and like they're trying to take advantage of the situation. Uh, but hey, a transgender person does not act like that around women, nor do they state how much they like women, nor how they like having sex with them. This guy is not transgender. He seems to be a pervy, and given his accent, he is from another country, Europe, I believe. I have heard from other ladies that he goes there quite, out, quite often. I have nothing against gay people or transgender, but every gay guy I know uses the men's locker room when in the spa. Management, management said according to the law, there was nothing they could do. Yes, they can reserve their right to provide service right to provide services to anybody that's not against the law they can deny entrance to this person based on his behavior not his gender i enjoy going to the wee spa it's not fair to me or other women to be put in this position where you basically have to leave the spot because you feel uncomfortable in a situation so uh, i'd be curious to hear from you guys what are your guys thoughts on this story if you were the business owner how would you handle this uh, i guess i'll kind of leave it at that and, and kind of hear what you guys have to say about it if you guys enjoyed this video Give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button below, ring the bell, and we'll catch you on the next video.